I'm Chris Stoffel, our Director of Studio Engineering here at Zooks, and Zooks is here at CES for the first time to bring our vehicle to the world uh, to show it off and happy to talk about it with you today. What we're trying to do is really develop um, a technology and a service for on-demand mobility so that we can deliver a better customer experience for people that want to go from A to B. Uh, and we believe we can do that with a ground-up vehicle uh, as the best approach because self-driving requires is a unique problem that requires a unique solution and for us that means something from the ground up. So what we have here in front of you is our uh, pre-production vehicle, fully electric, four-passenger uh, vehicle that's really going to deliver a unique experience and maximize what self-driving technology can bring to the world. And we think at the end of the day this is when people think of self-driving, this is the type of vehicle they want. They want something new, they want something special to give them a unique experience, and that's what we're working on. So, we have our, of course, our self-driving requires sensors. We have four different types of sensors, LiDAR, radar, camera, and long wave IR. Um, and those sensors go around all four corners of the vehicle. They give us an amazing field of view um, so that we can have a redundant field of view. We can also um, drive in different environments uh, and be able to see everything that we need to see on the road. Um, what you see also is, light and sound, you can hear the sound, and basically we use light and sound, or what we call Lux and Vox, to really deliver uh, basically a, a communication for the vehicle. We don't have a driver, so we can't communicate with people with a hand wave, etc. but we can give them light and sound information, uh, which is really good. We choose light and sound because not everyone can see or hear or read English, so we chose light and sound in that regard. And as we move around the vehicle, we can also see that it is actually symmetrical. It is also what we call bi-directional. That means it can travel at high speed in both directions. And the reason why we do that is because it gives us an advantage in terms of reducing maybe three-point turns, or we can really uh, improve pickup and drop-off uh, when we're dropping passengers off or picking them up. And so that's just driving efficiency and moving people around the world. And so what it also does is really provide uh, what we think is like a modern carriage look to the vehicle, really around celebrating the rider, celebrating the passenger, so that we can, one, develop an exterior that supports self-driving, but an interior that gives our riders a really unique, special experience. So Zooks has been around uh, eight plus years and we've been on public roads driving our test vehicles with our sensor hardware uh, um, for a number of years now. We actually do that in Las Vegas as well. Uh, that same hardware is on the same vehicle behind us um, and this vehicle is our production intent uh, pre-production vehicle that's going to be on public roads soon as well, um, which we're really excited to, uh, to showcase sometime in the future.